Good morning. Saturday, January 2, and we're going to be talking about God filling up the world. So we're singing, Sing to the Lord of Harvest, number 893, especially because of verse 2, where God fills them with his fullness, uh, the hills and the valleys, um, all things with large increase. This is a harvest song, but I, we thought it fit pretty well for the theme we want to look at today. So 893. <clears throat> Sing to the Lord of I forgot I was supposed to do that little Yeah, give me a transition. breath. So just give me a breath there. God makes the clouds bring goodness, the deserts bloom and spring. The hills leap up in gladness, the valleys laugh and sing. God fills them with his fullness, all things with died to save. Your hearts lay down before him when at his feet you fall. And with your lives adore him who gave his life for Good morning. Genesis 1, <coughs> verse 20. And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. So God created the great sea creatures, and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarm according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, livestock, and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds, and the livestock according to their kinds, and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. I like that word swarms, uh, especially the way he uses it. Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures. And the birds fly across the earth above the expanse of the heavens. So God created the great sea creatures and every creature that moves with which the waters swarm. And then he commanded them to fill the earth, multiply and fill the earth. And that's a, uh, I, the, the video back here, well, it doesn't always swarm. Sometimes it's these individual fish. Um, but there are so many different kinds of creatures in the sea. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a tickle. So many uh, um, colorful, uh, oddly, you know, strangely shaped, um, 
unique creatures. And then, and the birds, we've, and I can't say that we've really become any kind of bird watchers, but we've got a couple of bird feeders in our backyard, and we just love seeing the variety of birds that come, and sometimes they swarm around the bird feeders, don't they? Uh, then you see them, uh, if you ever see a murmuration of starlings, this, this multitude of the heavenly host <laughs> flying around. God filled the earth, and as as um, as diminished as it is today, from the time of its creation, still it is beautiful. How wonderful it must have been at the time of Adam and Eve, oh, if we come to on Monday, that the world was so filled with good things, so much so that even in its destruction, at the time of the flood, God, God brought from that uh, tremendous bounty. So, so we burn fossil fuels, our houses are heated with natural gas, our cars all run on gasoline, <clears throat> most of them. And if they don't run on gasoline, they run on electricity that's been powered by fossil fuels, uh, almost all of it. And, and still it comes out of the ground. What volumes, what unbelievable uh, tons and tons and tons of living things it must have been to create so much, when the earth was destroyed, so much of this fuel that we live on today. And still God blesses us. And still he fills the earth. And even though it's cold, Yet the, the soil is filled with creeping things. The, the air is still filled with flying things. The, the, the river, the Huron River out here, then Getty's Pond, although it's cold and they're down low, still there are people fishing out there because it's still filled with living things. God is the God of life. And although there's death in the world because of sin, God is a God who brings abundant life. I hope that you can see that image of the fullness of things, the filling of things, as a reminder of what God desires to do in your life. He desires to fill you up, not with lots and lots of stuff, but with the fullness of himself. Not just a, a little dribble of relationship with him, but to be filled up with God's Holy Spirit, filled up with faith, filled up with hope, uh, filled up as God fills up the world so that though we use it, it never empties out. It refills itself. God will refill you today. Though you may feel like somebody opened the tap and drained out some of your spirit, God can refill your spirit just as he fills the world. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your bounty. It is never-ending. Lord, I pray that you pour out upon your sons and daughters today, especially all of those who are joining us together to search your word. Pour out that kind of fullness upon us. As, as, you, as we will soon study in your creation of Adam and Eve, you you loved them and paid attention to them individually. Lord, I ask that you would look to each one of us personally and individually today and fill us up with your spirit that we may walk with you in the beauty and wonder of your world. In Jesus' name, amen. And I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and I hope that it is filled, filled with good things and good thoughts. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace.